Good morning, happy Tuesday, and welcome to Bible with Miss Gina. Um, today, I got some help to do Bible, because remember I told you that the best way to take the Bible with you everywhere you go is to memorize it, to know it, to have it right here in your heart. So no matter where you are, you have God's Word. If you've memorized it, it's always, always with you. Well, I've invited several of my friends to share with you their favorite verse. And so I want to tell you about them just a little bit. The very first one you're going to hear from is our new um, priest, our new pastor, Father Michael. Hello, everyone. It's Father Michael. I love to read the Bible. And one verse in the Bible is my favorite. It's 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10. And it says this, But by the grace of God... I am what I am, and his grace to me was not without effect. That verse is so important to me because it shows me that God loves for me and cares for me. No matter what, whether I'm doing good or whether I'm making mistakes or whether I'm failing, that he's working in my life to build up his kingdom. I really love that verse. Thank you for letting me tell it. The next person you're going to hear from is Miss Beth. I want you to know her favorite Bible verse. Good morning, my friends. Miss Gina asked us to share with you our favorite Bible verse. And honestly, I don't have a favorite. I have lots of verses in the Bible that God will put on my heart or in my head at different times. And they are all so very important to me. But I am going to share one of them with you today. So this one is from a little book toward the back of the Bible. And remember, the back of the Bible is the New Testament. And so this book, it's actually a letter, is called 1 Thessalonians. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18, it says this. Be joyful always. Pray continually. And give thanks in all circumstances. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. So the first part of that, be joyful always. Are you happy all the time? I'm not. Sometimes if things aren't going well or going the way I want them to, I'm kind of sad. I'm not very happy. But did you know that joy is different than being happy? Joy is a fruit of the Spirit and joy is deeper. Joy uh, doesn't depend on everything going right. We can have joy in our hearts, even on days that aren't so great. So be joyful always. Pray continually. And continually just means all the time, wherever we go. We don't have to just pray in the morning or when we eat or before we go to bed. We can talk to God all the time. Be joyful always. Pray continually and give thanks in all circumstances. It's a reminder that even in the really hard things, there is always, always, always something we can be thankful for because that is God's hope for us. Be joyful always, pray continually, and give thanks in all circumstances. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18. Now we're going to hear from Miss Tammy. Wait till you hear what her favorite Bible verse is. Hey friends, it's Miss Tammy. I miss you guys so much and I miss hearing your laughter and your voices in the hallways. But I hope you're spending this time with your family and making lots of memories. Miss Gina asked me to share a verse with you that means a lot to me. And so I'm going to read this to you and then we'll talk about it. It's from Romans chapter 12 verses 12 through 13. So I'll read it to you and then I'll tell you why it's so special. It says, be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Share with God's people who are in need and practice hospitality. And so right now, what this meant to me was just to stay focused. Remember to always be joyful in hope. And um, the affliction part where it says be patient, affliction is like the hard times. And right now we're kind of going through a really hard time. So we just have to be patient and know that God's in control of this and he's going to take care of us. And be faithful in prayer. Always say your prayers and talk to God. And then to share God's hospitality means for us to help our neighbors and help each other and even help our family members who might be having a hard time. So that's the verse that has spoke to me right now, and I just wanted to share it with you. I miss you and hope to get to see you soon. Bye. 
And now we're going to hear from Miss Dawn. She has a favorite Bible verse too. Let's see what hers is. Hi guys. My Bible verse is Psalm 139, 14, and it goes like this. I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works and that my soul knows very well. Father Ryan also has a favorite Bible verse that he wants to share with you. Listen to this one. Hello, boys and girls. This is Father Ryan from St. Philip's. Today, I want to share with you my favorite verse from the whole Bible. It's from the Gospel of John with the 15th chapter and the 5th verse. And it goes like this. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in them bears much fruit. For without me, you can do nothing. Now, what it means is that, well, have you ever taken a branch off of a vine before or a tree? What happens to it? Uh, well, eventually it dies, right? Because it needs the sap to go from the vine to the branch so that the leaves can stay green and so that the tree can continue to uh, make flowers and fruit and whatever it is that it's going to make. So the first helps me remember that I need to stay close to Jesus no matter where I am and that I need to let Jesus live in me so that I can bring forth good fruits that are pleasing to God like love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. All right, children, take care and God bless. And I want you to hear from Father Clayton. He's been with us all year long. He has a favorite Bible verse too. Here's what it is. Hello, all my St. Philip's friends. I'm so excited for your graduation. My favorite Bible verse comes from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. It says this, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for you. Congratulations on your graduation. I wish God's blessing be upon you all. Thanks to my friends for sharing their favorite Bible verses with us today. I want to share mine with you. My favorite Bible verse comes from Romans, the New Testament, chapter 8, verse 28. And it says, In all things God works for the good, for those who love him, who are called according to his purpose. You know what that means? That in everything, there's a rainbow. I hope you'll find a rainbow in everything in your life. If not, look in God's word, you'll find it there. The Lord be with you. Dear God, thank you so much that we can learn so much from your word and that we can take it with you wherever we go. Thank you, God, for loving us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Let's sing a song. Let's say yes to God. Are you ready? Here we go. Show me those knuckles. You don't have to be strong. You don't have to have money. You don't have to be smart. Rub your nose. You don't have to be funny. You don't have to be the biggest. Nope. You don't have to be the best. Uh-uh. You just have to be willing. You just have to say yes. You can say yes. Come on, spell it with me. Say why e s why e s say why e s if you're willing to be you say yes good job all right get your places ready because god's got a plan for you are you ready god gives you a plan he'll give you all that you need you can trust in his power Remember, Jesus loves you, and so do I. See you tomorrow.